What is up, social media family? I hope you are having a really good day because I want to share a word with you that is going to encourage you. It is going to strengthen you. And I guess you can tell right now, I am fired up to share this word. One of the things that I, I tell the Lord all the time is I say, God, I'll, I'll do whatever, you know, I'll share um, a word. It doesn't matter if it's an encouraging word, if it's um, about a certain nation, if it's a political word, if it's a word for direction for people. And the Lord gives me all different types of things. And I always share what the the Lord gives me. And so I'm going to do this right here. But this is one of those fun words that's really encouraging to a lot of people. And I personally like this word because, you know, you look around and see the, the situations and the way that America and the nations of the world are right now. But I was in prayer, corporate prayer meeting. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me so strongly and said, pray and receive. So I did. I started to pray about everything that came to my mind. And I was believing that I was going to receive. A little bit later, I just kept hearing that pray and receive, pray and receive, pray and receive. And I said, okay. Then I felt the Holy Spirit, you know, bring it to my attention that I need to tell people to pray and receive. So the prayer meeting just kind of kept going and I just kept praying and just, had a heart full of thanksgiving recently, just thankful for the Lord. And and then it just kind of hit me in my spirit. Literally, pray and receive. It's going to be that simple, and it's going to be that fast. You are about to see absolute radical change in things that you have been praying for. I mean, literally, you are going to pray and you are going to receive. Now, do not take this word and be immature and think it is one of those immature, name it, claim it type words. It is not. This word is for the people who the Lord has impressed something on your heart and you have been leaning in. You have been praying. You have been making declarations. You've been in warfare over this word. I'm telling you, your breakthrough is now at hand. I guess I could say it like this. Come on back and pray one more time. Just one more time. I've always said that to people. When, when you've prayed and you've done all that you can do and you've stood and you're tired and you're weary, my best piece of advice for you is this. Pray one more more time. People have told me for, you know, years, they call me and say, I don't think I can stand for this promise. I don't think I can stand one more day. I say, look, that's all I need you to stand is one more day. Pray one more time and watch what happens. Won't he do it? He'll come through. He is a good father. He is our own time God. And I, I've always noticed that the Lord never comes through on my time but he comes through on his time. And some of the biggest things that he's ever done for me and answered for me came after a season of waiting that I thought I waited too long. But in reality, the things that I waited for, as I was waiting, I learned so much. So never despise the waiting process. You know, if, if there's a delay, it's not a denial you know, it's just like a kid's like, oh, I'm ready for summer. I'm so ready for this school year to be over with. Well, the reason it's not over because you haven't learned all you were supposed to learn in that grade. People that go to trade school, they're like, I'm just ready to get into the workforce. I'm ready to get out. Well, you still need, there's something you need to learn. A lot of times we're in that process. So I want to encourage you today. You've went through the storms. You know, if you've been weary, if you're tired, Find strength in the Holy Spirit to get the strength to stand up and pray one more time. Declare one more time. Decree one more time. And watch the walls start crumbling. Watch the breakthrough start to happen. Watch the oil from heaven start to flow over your life. This is a time, man, I'm telling you, I feel it in my spirit. This is a time and a season that you are about to walk in your breakthrough. So literally, pray and be ready to receive.
because God is about to do everything that he said he was going to do. I love you guys. And if you want prayer for something, email me. Go to jojodawson.net. Go to the contact button. Hit it and send me a prayer request, not a book, a request. And I'd love to pray for you. Love you guys.